Okay. That's the house. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It's for a good cause, Rage. Come on. Okay. Okay. I can do this. Okay, go on quick. I got this. Okay. Three, two, one. One second, you may be wondering what on earth would make us think stealing was a good idea. Breaking news out of the Philippines where a magnitude 7.1 earthquake has hit the north of the country. A few months ago, my mom's province in the Philippines was hit by a major earthquake. That quake sending terrified people running into the streets. The tremor, it was pretty strong. So powerful, in fact. It's have been felt 300 kilometers away in the capital, Manila. Which left thousands of people homeless and in need of aid. No, I, I experienced the trauma. Even the aftershock came with that. I carried my baby and go out, run and out. Oh my gosh. There are some of our people here in the barangay having house totally damaged and partially damaged. My mom's house, the, the rain goes in the crack. How much money would, would help you? I don't know. That's what that's I don't know. But we are very grateful if what if what came from your heart like that? Mm, I will, I'm gonna, we're gonna try, <laughs> you know. So since we're in Zurich, one of the wealthiest cities in the world, we decided to pull a Robin Hood and just sort of borrow a bit from those who can afford it. Borrow. But we also weren't this desperate a few days ago. So today we stole this notebook from the rich, sort of. <laughs> It's an empty note. $3.95, that's our starting point. And now we're gonna try and trade it up to an item worth over $1,000. Oh man, this is gonna be a tough one, I feel. Hi. Hello. Sorry, do you have anything that you would want to trade with this notebook? Man, we have nothing to exchange. Not nothing. The watch is pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> to trade. It's just my clothes. I can take the suit. <laughs> I could give you a book. Patrick Rohr. Public speaking. Yes. Thank this, you so much. This one I can use. That's yeah. amazing. So. <laughs> Got it. Whoa. We're on our way over here. $31. It's a book in German, so we should probably try to trade it for a book in English at a bookstore so that then it just opens up our pool. Uh, no, we don't have any new books. Nothing you'd want to trade for this? No. So we have a maybe. This one, 24 7, 10 reps. How much was this again? It was 30. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a... No. No? Okay, yeah. <laughs> no. I have my business stuff in here. Oh, looks like nobody wants to trade up for this highly valuable piece of public speaking knowledge over here. I don't know. We should love it. No, <laughs> you're going on the beat. I hate doing this stuff. Yeah, I feel very happy because to just us here. But it's for my family. Gotta do it. Oh, book plus paper clip <laughs> for the glasses. I have paid for these 200 uh, francs. I have to walk away. Walk away. I mean, I'm kind of hungry. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Bye bye. Just have a towel. I actually just have a towel. I would have a towel. Have a great right. day. <laughs> <laughs> still got this bloody book. Problem is, we're leaving Zurich in four days and trading this book up is not working and it's just taking way too much. Yeah, we need to change strategy. We need to act quick. What are we gonna do? I mean, the notebook was a good item to swap, right? Yeah. And that was in someone's trash. I feel like rich people like throw out so much stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine they have something like uh, maybe old electronics, old furniture. People put out their furniture. Like, what if we just went around asking people? Like, or asking, we asking people, yeah, like, like door knocking. I mean, oh. hello. hello. I don't know if you guys have any things that you were like, oh, I want to throw this away. I want to get rid of this. That we might do. Let's look through. Have you got a phone number? Yeah. Why don't we take that? Thank you guys. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, amazing. Thank you, guys. I don't think they're home. No. Nope. I don't think there's anyone in. So fancy. Nothing. Hello. Okay. Uh, okay. We can give you our number. Or
I mean, congratulations for the initiative. I'm sorry I can't talk. <laughs> so we haven't gotten any concrete confirmations. But on the plus side, everyone is so nice. We can come back to you if we have something. Okay, yeah, nice. I think we need to uh, act a bit more like we belong here, you know? Hello, darling. We're just inquiring to know if you have any leftover decor that does not serve your estate any further. Could we replenish ourselves with it? I just got a message from a family friend who lives in the neighborhood. I'm going to try to ask her as well if she has anything to okay. give away. Because so far, we have a bunch of maybes and nothing confirmed. Time's ticking over here and we're really not sure if we're going to get anything. Like, nobody's really confirmed got some numbers shared messages out but Rich. She just answered. Okay, let's see. definitely yes we have so much stuff here we are going we're leaving up for holidays and i'll be back on sunday the 11th so if you're still here oh no have... that's way too late Wait, we're gonna be sunday gone longer. i'm gonna call her and ask is there any chance that we can stop by today to pick up the stuff oh you're leaving in four hours i think we can make it honestly if we rush we don't have much time let's see what we can get Hi! Hello! Wow, okay, thank you so much. Hi. Let me see. <laughs> okay, so we were thinking of this, this box. Oh, here. nice. Oh, wow. Whoa. All the weights? Oh, weight? yes. Wow. Weights. And the bench. Amazing. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's a, like a Persian okay. rug. Wait, how much do you think we can sell that one for? 500. 500. Amazing. <laughs> but thank you guys so yeah. much. Yeah, sure. All right. This is so good. So many weights to sell. Let's hope this car doesn't break down. <laughs> Especially with your fat ass. <laughs> Come on. So a total of 2,219. And oh good luck, God. you guys. I hope you sell it for a lot of money. You're yeah, the we're... best. There we go. Bye, yeah. Rachel. Thanks again mm -hmm. for everything. Enjoy and the mountains. Oh, it's Saint Tropez oh, yes. now. Yes. Wow. Do you, do you, do you, do you Saint Tropez? <laughs> While they were headed off to Saint Tropez, we were headed back home to sell our newfound treasure. You want to look like me one day? Well, there's only one way to go about it. Dumbbells, rack, boxing, bench. Mm. Mm. And of course, after a good workout, you want to lie somewhere comfortable. The finest quality, the best, everything you need, and more. With a killer promo video, we posted the items online, hoping we would wake up rich. All right, I'm off the bed. No sales. <laughs> Despite zero sales, we got some good news. Rachel just messaged us saying she has a few items for us to pick up, so we're Let's lucky. go! All right, so we have a bunk bed and a clint. <laughs> we have some more stuff. This beautiful lamp plus the two bunk bed. So we'll see if we can put it online and get someone to buy it. Oh God. We got another person that wrote to us and said, hi, do you also take a table or is it too big? I'm useless over here. <laughs> Work it, girl. As Steph finished posting all the new items online, I got an unexpected call. Okay. Yeah. Um, my aunt Gassat and Christy's mom had a stroke. She's fine, but like it's making me rethink. Just feel like I can't in good conscience give them this money to give away just for the earthquake when I know how many medical bills they have and other costs that are piling up for them now. Like I think we should like split it, you know? Family first. Let's do it. At this point, we still had made zero dollars. So we went back to the drawing board. So the question is, what would rich people just throw their money at? To you, man, for 97 million. 400 million. So. Art. We have to sell art. But it has to be art that's stolen from the rich. I mean, other you can bust down someone's door and just take their art. No, I won't. You will. <laughs> <laughs> That's the house. Oh God, I don't oh. know. I don't know how I feel about this. It's thing. for a good cause, Rage. Come on. Three, two, one. Oh <laughs> 
this stolen flower right here is about to be the centerpiece of my Robin the Hood artwork. And I've got 24 hours to complete it, so I gotta get to work. As I got to work on my million dollar masterpiece, it seemed like Lady Luck was finally paying a visit. All right, we got our first sale. <laughs> We made our first sale! Yeah. Hey you! What? Come here. What do you want? Dance for me. <laughs> no! <laughs> Pick it up! Excuse me miss, we got a sale! Did we? Let's go! Alright, right, someone is here to pick up the boxing bag. That. Thank you guys. Perfect, man. All right, so nobody's buying this damn rug over here, but my sister just moved into her new place. It's totally empty and she's interested. So we're gonna go try to negotiate a price with her. Look what we got for you. Wow! wow. It's quite big. It smells good. Thanks, guys. <laughs> How much? Uh, 3K. That's too much. 1K. 1K? <laughs> no, okay, for you, family discount. Mm -hmm. But just for you. Mm -hmm. How much? 100. Take the 100 and give it to me. <laughs> give me your wallet, then I'll pull it out of my wallet. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure. Thank you so much for my beautiful rug. <laughs> Alright, see you. <laughs> The sale of the carpet, we're just $220 away from our goal. Unfortunately, it seems like no one wants to buy any of the other items that are up on sale, which means that tomorrow we're gonna have to sell Rachel's masterpiece for over 200 bucks. And there's a problem. It's currently 924. As you can see, we are nowhere near done with this piece of art. Less than 24 hours to try and sell this whole bloody thing and finish it, which means I'm gonna have to get in there and help out. You're going all over my lines, I have to redraw them. This art is uh, ruining our relationship. I'm trying to help. you! It's almost midnight here, huh? and we're still painting, and we're not even like, oh. It is 1.40. Still need to add the flowers, but I need to go to sleep. Sleep deprived and regretting my choices, I was in a desperate rush to disguise the stolen flower in time for our final mission. Let's do this. It's stolen from the rich and it's hidden in the painting. No one will ever know. <laughs> All right, so here it is, the final artwork. Up here we have the Swiss hand with the Swiss Alps giving down, dropping flowers down to the Philippines. That's our little representation of stealing from the rich. Now we gotta go sell it. It's bloody raining. Anybody want a painting? Well, nobody else around here? got a 220 franc painting in a shopping bag. Because of the rain, we had to go with this camera, an iPhone. We're gonna go to the fine, fine art deco. Oh, that's an antique gallery. How can you say no to this beauty? Maybe up here, you know, next to this. <laughs> Hello, would you like to buy this beautiful painting? No? It's for a good cause. Hello? Hello? Oh, shit. Uh, I don't know if we can price this at 220. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Maybe? Would you like to buy a painting? Would you like to buy a painting? Oh, I think I can. After a streak of never ending rejections, this happened. I just got a notification. Someone said that they want to buy the bunk beds, but they're only free for the next two hours, so we gotta get back. Let's home. go, let's go. All right, guys, so we're on our way home. Things are looking good. The skies have opened up. It's a sign. Hopefully, we're gonna be able to sell this last item and make it to our goal. So, fingers crossed. Despite all the hard work that's gone into this, I think it's really, really gonna be worth it. And I can't wait to see how this is gonna impact everyone back in the Philippines, because I, I think it's gonna help a lot. I cannot believe how last minute this is. You guys don't understand. We're leaving the country tonight. It's so last minute, but it's gonna be worth it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we did it! We hit our target. Now there's only one thing left to do. It's time to give them the news. We managed what? to raise $1,100. <laughs> Thank you, man.
<laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> also to Stefano, Stefano, thank, thank you. <laughs> Shout out to Stefano. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank God bless you. you.